Logan, there's a fire. And you jump down the fire bowl. Logan, what do we do? There's a banana, don't panic. I'm panicking a lot. It's gonna be okay. Jake, I got it, go. Hey, yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake here from Tube Ebony, and we are back with a brand new video. And today, guys, we, we're fighting fire, like Kung Fu style. They don't fight fire, do they? No, Jake, they fight them with water. Right, right, okay. So today, we decided how cool it would be to make a box fort fire station and go out on missions to help save the neighborhood against fires. So we got a bunch of really cool gear. You look really intense. Before we can save the day though, guys, every firefighter needs his home base. He needs his fire station, which is exactly what we're gonna be making today to start off this video. So we're gonna make the fire station in here, which is in the lab. I'm thinking that would be really awesome if we're in our fire station and we're chilling. And then when we get a call to go out and save the day, we have the door open up. We get all geared up, we hit the switch, the garage opens up, and then we run out and save the day. So to start off, guys, we gotta start making this firefighter base. I'm thinking that we do a fairly big base with a few different rooms to store all of our gear. Let's start building this place. Oh, also guys, we had an awesome idea. You guys saw in the summer, we did the 24 hour box fort in the woods challenge. Well, it's getting pretty cold outside. It's becoming fall. We thought, what if we revisited that challenge and did a part two to it? We go back in the woods during the fall and do another box fort for survival challenge. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be a very difficult challenge, but if you guys want us to do it, smack that like button down below and let's try and get 50,000 likes. Also guys, if you don't wanna miss any of the really awesome videos coming out on the channel, we've got a crazy lineup. Make sure that when you subscribe, you also hit that bell icon. It's a little bell icon down below, smack that, join the notification squad and you'll never miss a brand new video. Box fort, fire stations looking awesome. Now it's time to put in a fire pole. Every fire station needs a fire pole. Logan's been working on the inside here, getting all of our stuff set up. We got the LEDs down. Dude, that looks so sweet. What's going on, guys? Gotta get all our gear in here, but I brought the fire pole, Logan. Oh, That's dude. the fire pole? That's the fire pole. It's actually a broomstick, but don't tell Logan. I mean, it, it's a mini fire pole for our box fort. Oh, I love what you do with the guns, man. That's sick. We don't want to show everything off yet, though, so let's set this fire pole up in here. Wait, wait, wait. Have you guys seen this place yet? This is the second story dude check out the second story how cool is this this is where you can sleep relax and wait for a fire call to come in in the meantime you know you can look out the window enjoy the outside or just stay out chilling here read a book but uh Logan we got an issue uh this fi this fire pole as cool as it looks sort of stops right here stop being the fire pole it's a broomstick I know I know it's a br I thought the roof <laughs> fire pole is not long enough we gotta go back to the drawing boards maybe I can make one out of cardboard maybe that'll work it took all of my box fort building skills but I have officially made the hardest thing to make in box forting history a pole. Well, actually, it wasn't that hard. Well, it's kind of hard. I had to use a lot of creativity here. So we got this cool design. It's orange and blue tape, and this thing is long. It's very big. I mean, it almost looks like a massive spear you could throw. But this is going to be our fire pole for the fire station. So if we do get a call in a hurry and we got to go somewhere, you just jump jump down it like that. Woo! <laughs> it's actually really fun. I don't know why it's so fun. Check out this pole. It's actually way okay, more- Okay, that's a fire pole. That's a fire pole, dude. It's way more fun than anything else you ever see today. Check it out. We're chilling on the second story of our box four fire station. We got this awesome room over here. You know, you can lay back, relax, uh, chill out while you wait for a fire to come in. I mean, we don't want a fire to come in, but if it does, we'll have to jump down here really quickly and use this fire pole. All right, so let's see how to jump down really quickly because there's a fire. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo and you jump down the fire pole. It's not the biggest, it's not the greatest, but hey, it works for a little box for a fire station. That was actually pretty awesome. Dude, right? And now we can go on, we can save the day. All right, so here is our supply wall. We have everything we're gonna need to like put out the fire. We have a flashlight, fire extinguisher, and we have a water gun. Do you show them the best part? We came up with some revolutionary new way to put stuff in your box for it. Logan, show them how easy it is to detach and put back in. Using just tape, I was able to make some shelves. And this is just tape, guys. It's insane. Dude, that is so sick. You can literally take out all your gear and put it back in. That's one of the biggest challenges we have is storing gear on the wall because then you got to retape it and that kind of sucks. But this is awesome. Oh yeah, and last but not least, we have our fire hatchet, which is on the wall in case we need to break into a burning building. Oh wait, we got one more thing. Logan. Logan, there's a fire. See, in case you need to yell, so I guess you don't yell at them that they know there's a fire, right? So you'd be like, don't worry, we're gonna save you from the fire. That, that's what you need to yell. And one of the coolest parts about this box for a fire station is our box for a fire door. We just cut this out here because we use the garage door as part of the box for it so that when we get a call to go out on a mission, Logan hit the button. 
How cool is that? The door opens up, we go out on our mission, we go save the day, and then when we get back home, Logan, button. Check it out, the door comes back down and we're safe inside our box for a fire station. So now that we have our whole box for a fire station ready, I think it's time that we test out all of our gear. We need to make sure that we are prepared to go ahead and fight a fire. If we're not prepared to fight fires, then we can't be true box for firefighters. So I think we need to grab all of our gear. Logan, that's a loaded box for a firefighting gun, all right? Stop, stop spraying the box for a I'm just making gun. sure it works, Jake. Take the precious Jake, liquid. I'm just making sure right, it works. It works. It works. We got to go outside and we got to fight a real fire. So we got to get all of our gear, grab our fire hats, go out there and see if we can pull one out. But guys, remember, do not under any circumstances play with fire at home, all right? We're professionals. We know how to put out box for fire, box for fires. So don't light cardboard on fire because it is extremely flammable. But for the sake of this, we are going to be using real fire. Let's go out and do the test. All right, guys, before we can go out there and do the real job, we need to do a test with our fire down below. We gotta make sure that we have what it takes to be real box for firefighters, which is why I got this thing here. It's a fire extinguisher and it puts out fires. Ready, Logan? I'm ready, Jake. Here we go. That's the only skill you can learn after being a firefighter. Jake, the fire going. is out Jake, the fire and is I have- out. What? The fire is not out. The fire is not out. Oh my gosh. As I was saying, being the greatest box fort firefighter it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of skill. You need to know what you're doing. You need to be precise. Wait, fire. the fire's back on. Oh my god. Uh-oh, Logan. Logan, we're almost out of water. We're out of water? Logan, should I fight it with this? Logan, what do we do? Let me handle it. And that's how you put out a fire, Jake. Okay, so I'm more of like the moral support kind of like smarts guy that tells you where to shoot, because without me here, that would have not uh, been, you wouldn't have. Sure, Jake. Well, we learned a valuable lesson today, guys. We figured out how to put out a fire. This is like studying, all right? This is like textbook studying on what we'll have to encounter when we become real box fort firefighters. I think it's time to get back to the box fort and get ready. We might have a call soon. That was Dude, a good test. That was sick. I told we you. We did it. This. Yo, that it's is 100% that, that necessary. And, and you know, I, I helped out a lot, all right? If it wasn't for me, I, I don't think we would have been able to put out that fire. I mean, I think you learned a lot this time. Yeah, I, I, de I definitely did. So now we're back inside, guys. We know how to put out fires. We did our test. We learned how to use all of our gear. Now we just kind of wait. We got to chill. We got our phone here. If anything happens, we'll get a ring-a-ling on the phone. So I'm going to go upstairs to the second story, relax a little bit, and we'll wait around and see what happens. Six and a half hours later. <gasps> first call. Gee, we got our first call. What? What's Hello? Hello? Yes, hello, I have a fire problem. Can I speak to Papa Jake, please? Uh, Jake, it's for you. Yes, this is Fire Sergeant Papa Jake. What's going on? I have a fire. Fire? A box fort fire. Box fort fire. Logan, we have a box fort fire. We gotta go right now. Ugh. Let's go. Seems like it's a fairly big box fort fire. We're gonna need to pull off all the stops. Get your fire gun ready. Got ammunition, flashlight. Let's roll out. We gotta save the day. We don't know too much, but we know there's a fire up ahead. It's a small box house fire. We gotta move fast, we gotta move smart. Logan, you got the stepladder? Got the stepladder. All right, I got the fire extinguisher. Let's go, we know how big this is gonna be. Oh no, that's a big fire. Don't worry, we know there's a fire. All right, I don't think there's anyone in there. Come on, come on. It's not working, Logan, we need something bigger. Jake, I got it. Go for it. Dude, you put that thing out awesome. This thing does nothing. I was trying my hardest, it just wouldn't go out. I think this is just a toy, Jake. Might be. But it's my toy. Well, looks like we saved the day. Whoever owns this box for it will be happy. I think it's time we head back to the base and get ready for our next call. Just almost barely put that fire out. Uh, it's a good thing we had that extra hose in the fire truck. Man, that was close. That almost got out of hand. All right, well, we're gonna gear down, try and relax after that major issue. Hopefully nothing else comes through the fire phone and uh, wait for the next call. It's time for me to sleep. Two hours later. <sighs> What's up? What's going on? Logan, we got another fire. This one's big. I'm patching it through to the intercoms. Hold on, here we go. Hi, oh, hey, Mr. Fireman, I, I need help. There's a big fire in my oh, house. It's, it's so, so slow down, slow down. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Banana. Your name is Mr. Banana? Okay, okay, no, no, no that, that's fine. Yes, we are the firefighters. Yes, no, I'm also Papa Jake from the YouTube channel, Papa Jake. No, I'm also a firefighter. It's a, I do everything. This is the firefighters or is this Papa Your Jake? Your house is on fire. Do not worry, we are coming. You're a firefighter? No, 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 no. We, we are the real firefighters. Oh, no, I'm Papa Jake is in a fire. No, it'll, it'll be, no, no, it, no, 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 it'll be fine, oh, no, it'll be fine, no, no, you're gonna be okay, no, no, no. okay, we're professionals, we know how to put out fires. Alright, looks like we got another job, gear up, ready to go. Alright, let's head out, it seems like a big fire. We just got here, Mr. Banana's house is over there, looks like he's got a smoke problem, 
I'm gonna break in and save him. I'm coming, Mr. Banana. Papa Jake's here. Mr. Banana, do not panic. We know you're in there. See you on the other side. Jake, are you sure this might be too dangerous? I gotta save him, Logan. Mr. Banana! Uh, I'm going in! Uh, Mr. Banana, don't panic! It's gonna be okay! It's gonna be okay, Mr. Banana! Do not panic! I'm coming for you! Uh. <coughs> Mr. Banana! Oh, 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 Mr. Banana! Oh, 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 oh. The house is falling apart! Uh. Oh, uh. soul, Papa the whole thing's falling down! You're okay! You're gonna be okay! <coughs> Take this, Mr. Banana! Alright, keep this on! I'm gonna give you oxygen. You're coming with me, come on! Jake, pass me Mr. Banana. Uh, uh, grab him! Uh, I got you. Alright, I'm coming out! Oh, the house just broke! Uh, uh, the roof's caving in! <coughs> the whole thing started to fall down when I was in there. The place was blocked off. I couldn't get through. I had to use the hatchet to break through. Jake. I think Mr. Banana's okay. He's okay. Oh, I didn't think what? we could save me. You didn't think we could save you? No, I, I honestly gave you like a zero percent chance. Mr. Banana, I'm Papa Jake, Box Ford firefighter. What kind of firefighter doesn't bring water to a fire? Well, what do you know? Just saved his life. He's gonna talk to me like that. So we're gonna take a really quick break from building our awesome box for I want to show you guys some cool stuff we just got in the mail. And what do we get? It's a mini drone. We got mini drone. All right, little bigger drone. This is what I'm excited for. We got the spark, guys. We got all of these drones, uh, courtesy of Banggood.com. Those guys were really awesome. They hooked us up with all of these drones completely for free, so that we could do a giveaway for you guys. We got drones. We got drones on drones. Um, but we're doing a giveaway. So if you guys want to win one of these awesome drones, uh, whether you know. You want to win the spark or you want to win this this is actually really cool it's an air selfie drone you throw it up in the air we'll show them off in a second but you can take selfies just straight from this so guys if you want to enter into this awesome giveaway and win one of these all you guys have to do is follow me on both instagram as well as twitter and of course make sure you subscribe to papa jake but yeah guys let me know down below which one of these awesome drones do you guys want my personal favorite is the dji spark but I love these little mini drones. Look how cute they are. Again, like I said, guys, big shout to Banggood.com for hooking us up with these. If at any point you guys want to check out one of these drones, we'll have links down below. You guys can go buy them. But if not, enter in the giveaway. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Activate! Papa Jake piloting his drone. Watch out, Logan. Whoa. And lastly, of course, you guys have probably all seen the DJI Spark and how it works, but this one I really like because it comes in like a phone case and then you can just toss it out and take a selfie with it. But the coolest thing is this. What? How cool is that? And it just flies around like a personal camera. <sighs> All right, guys, just got back to the fire station. That was absolutely crazy. We had to save Mr. Banana. He was freaking out, but luckily I got in there. I used our firefighter hatchet, which definitely helped me out to get through there because I could barely see. There was like zero visibility. But at the end of the day, we saved the day as box for firefighters, and everyone is better off thanks to Papa Jake and Logan. You did a good job today, man. We did High a good five. thing today. Dude, this was sweet. And guys, if you have an idea and you want us to make your box for it or do your creation, let us know in the comments down below because we would love to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, guys, we love hearing from you and hearing your awesome ideas. And of course, guys, don't forget, if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button. But guys, this has been Papa Jake from Team Epiphany. Don't forget to hit the like button if you guys want the Fall Forest Challenge. And we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video. Yeah.